a day. It's back from the bond spiel that I helped organize. <sighs> I don't think there's very much that can get me down today. What's on Facebook? I feel a rant coming on. Before I rant, though. I have a reason for that. Obviously, this is in support of Ariel. However, Ariel is one of the demographic who are extremely hurt by frickin' signs like that! Okay, maybe I shouldn't have called it a rant if I'm going to edit the shit out of this video, but whatever. I'm going to go ahead with it. So, maybe a little backstory here. Okay. Ariel, as most of you know, is, well, at least I hope most of you know, is Jason with a D's daughter, extremely sick with cancer. Now, if you're in contact with someone like that fairly continuously, you should get vaccinations for anything that could adversely affect their health, i.e. flu, for instance. You know, the subject of this particular fucking sign. Calm, 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 calm. All right. Now, so a friend of mine happened to post this video. Let me bring up the actual link here. Thankfully, I'm not the only one who's called him on this. It's specifically the poisoning part, of course, that has fucked their range in me. It's not to say that there aren't some concerns with vaccines. For instance, some people have allergies to the proteins in eggs. A lot of flu vaccines are cultured in eggs because it's a very convenient uh, way to do it. Now, from what I understand it, most of the proteins do get removed. However, there is still a chance. If you are allergic to eggs, guess what? Talk to your doctor. You can work it out. Ugh. So, of course, I read my friend, saw my friend posted this and replied with poisoning, and then posted the Rational Wiki link to vaccine denialism link below. Also below will be the link to the fucking, uh, what's her fucking name? Dr. Brenda Gill, comma, MD, The Way to Wellness. Uh, I'll post a link to that Facebook site down below. You can go there and look at the fucking image yourself. Calm, 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 calm. All right. So, my friend replied with, After reading about the validity of several studies into the safety of vaccine storage and mercury, plus the fact that I've gotten sick immediately after getting vaccinated the last few times, it's definitely a choice. Uh, that's all the stuff that's addressed in that fucking article I posted. Anyway. Another friend of his replied with, No kidding, I got one shot, and one shot only because it was the sickest I've ever been. This is the fucking point of vaccines. Uh, now, please, anyone who's out there who actually is a medical doctor and can explain this better than I can, if I'm wrong on this, please let me know. I'll put an annotation here. If I'm wrong, just provide the source, I'll put the annotation here. From what I understand, how vaccines work is that they have a deactivated form of the virus in question, usually a virus anyway. And the bodies, the, your body's antibodies will, or your immune system, will see that deactivated form, attach it to it, and generate the, your body's own immune system will generate the antibodies necessary to destroy that, and in doing so, 
they will also generate the antibodies necessary to, necessary to destroy the actual active virus. In that process, your body may cause you to experience sim symptoms of illness, because guess what? Your immune system is fighting the thing. That's kind of what it's supposed to do. Now, some people will experience to various degrees, but the key point is it's fighting a deactivated version. You're not going to get anywhere near as sick as if you would have actually caught the damn thing. Okay, and the poisoning thing I think has been debunked fucking to pieces, so I don't feel the need to go into that again. I'm pretty. Sh I certainly hope everyone here understands the frickin' poisoning mercury. Uh, thimerosal. It's I think pretty sure it's mostly not used anymore. But even when it was used. Uh, it's never been linked conclusively by any valid study to anything related to autism, poisoning, etc. Uh, even in the post my friends made, I had to point out the okay, there's sampling bias there. Okay, oh, I got it and then I got sick. Every time? Oh, look, he, he got it once and only once and he was really sick. Uh, once? Sample size of one? Uh, and then you're, of course, there's also the sampling bias of, you know, only hanging around with people who support your ideas. That's why I try to subscribe to people like Lasoyo, Rational Roundtable, who aren't, you know, they're not, they're creation, they're, they're theist. I respect their positions on a lot of things. I even listen to listen to and have exchanged I I've had exchanges with them in order to try to understand their position even though I still don't buy it but I listen to them or at least I try to but I'm not saying I'm perfect in that respect I don't think anybody is uh, uh, thirdly I some people might hate me for saying this I don't think everybody needs to get a flu vaccine. If you're a reasonably healthy individual who aren't coming into a high, and you're not in a high risk demographic and you're not coming, most importantly, it's, you're not coming into a person in a high risk demographic, then okay, you're probably not going to require one. Not usually that big a deal. However, if you're someone like a teacher, you're someone like uh, work in a hospital, you work with older people, you come into contact with older people a lot, even though you yourself are not vaccinated, you don't, you're not necessarily, maybe you have the virus, but you're not experiencing the extreme symptoms of it, you're still, you can still be a carrier. So if you don't get vaccinated under those conditions, you're a fucking moron. Now, I'm not saying this person that I'm actually replying to is someone who falls into that category. I don't know. And specifically with him, I'm specifically upset at his reasoning. I don't want to be poisoned. Ugh, you're not going to be. Uh, aller allergy thing aside, I've already mentioned that. Uh, what specifically irritates him. Fuck out of me! I'm not going to apologize for that. About signs like that is that they're saying the cure, and yes, it's a fucking cure. If it keeps you from getting the disease, it's a cure. Is worse than the disease. Man, that's just fucking bullshit. Uh, all right. I think I'm. A little bit better right now. <sighs> Again, links will be below. Anyone has any issue with anything I've said, I could provide valid sources. Put it below. In the meantime, have a good day and stay shiny. <laughs>